Audio marker, three, two, one. All right, cool. what's up guys? My name is Mark and today I've got one, two, and three cameras to help me show you guys how you can use Adobe Premiere's multi-camera editing features. Oh, before I do the whole intro, let me also just say that at the end of this video, I'm gonna be holding the draw to pick the winner of the Photodiox adapter and the SIM modded Canon FD 1.8. All right, now you can run the intro. Now before I jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, I just kinda wanna talk to you guys about a few quick tips when shooting for a multi-camera editing sequence. Tip number one, camera settings. Now it's really important to make sure your recording cameras are using the same record settings. Now these settings include the shutter speed, the frame rate, and the white balance temperature. Now by ensuring these settings are all accurate across the board, it will make cutting between the cameras a lot more succinct. Now the second thing is to make sure you grab a sync point either at the top or the tail of the video you're shooting. Now that's why you see people do a clap. The clap is used in post to kind of line up the cameras and then from there you can group them together. Now these are just two things to keep in mind when you're shooting for a multi-camera edit sequence. Okay, so here I am in Adobe Premiere, and you can see I've got my three cameras that I'm using for this shoot right here. Camera one, which is the front cam, I've got camera two as the wide cam, and I've got camera three here as my analog high eight cam, cause why not? So the first thing I'm going to do is right click and create a new bin. Now I'm going to call it multi-camera, but you can call it whatever you want. Once you've got your bin, you can go ahead and drag your three camera clips into that bin. Next, you right click on the bin folder and create a multi-camera source sequence. This will open up a dialog box here where you can choose how we're going to combine these clips into one multi-cam sequence. Now you can sync the cameras by in-out points, by time code, or down here by audio. If you select audio, the program will figure out where the audio clips line up from your camera sources, which is great. But you have to make sure all cameras have recorded audio levels for this to work properly. Now I'm a bit of a control freak and I want to be able to choose my sync points personally, so I'm going to go ahead and pick my in points on my three cameras and sync from there. So my camera one in point, my camera two in point, and my camera three in point. Now you can see why that clap comes in handy. Now for the sequence preset option here, you want to leave this on automatic. Down here at the sequence settings for audio will give you three options. Camera one, which is the camera that has my high quality audio. All cameras, which will mix audio from all cameras together. And switch audio, which will use the audio source from the active camera. So these two options aren't ideal for this situation, so I'm going to go ahead with this camera one option. Now once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click OK. You'll see here a process clips folder was created, as well as a multicam source sequence. Now before you start editing, you'll need to create a multicam target sequence. Now to do that, simply right click and create new sequence from clip. This creates a new sequence that you can edit. You can see here, it's just a single camera in the timeline, which in this case is camera one. So to enable multi-camera editing, click the toggle multi-camera view. If you don't have it preloaded, you can find it here from the button editor, which you can just drag and drop into your toolbar here. The left monitor shows all of your different camera angles that you have in your multi-camera sequence, and the right monitor is the composite view. You can go ahead and change the order of the cameras by clicking the toolbar here. Click and edit cameras. You can change the order and deactivate cameras if you want from these options. So once you're happy with this setup, you can go ahead and start editing using your different camera angles. Now to do this, simply bring the playhead to the start of the sequence, hit play, and you can switch cameras in real time, either using the mouse or you can use the keys on your keyboard. One being camera one, two being camera two, three being camera three, and so forth. 
Now it's important to remember, you won't see the actual cuts happening in real time until you stop the playhead. This is a pretty general way of editing and I usually like to go in and refine my cut points. You'd be amazed at what rolling a few frames can do for the pace of your edit. And you can accomplish this by using the rolling edit tool. Now if you want to change the clip to a different camera angle, simply highlight the clip and press the appropriate camera angle, either by using the mouse or by your keyboard number pad. Now once you're happy with your edit, you can drop your color effects and edit it like any other sequence. So now that I've got everything set up here, I'm going to go ahead and cut the next part of this video, which is the vintage lens giveaway draw by using this setup technique. All right, so with the tutorial out of the way, let's get down to the draw for the sim modded Canon FD 1.8 lens. At the beginning of this month, I asked you guys what it is about vintage lenses that inspires you, and, and about 132 of you guys have responded, and I gotta say, I loved reading every single one of those comments. Like, this is, um, this is the main reason why I like doing these giveaways, is I get real interaction with you guys. But the time has come to actually give the lens away. So what I did was I cut up all of your names, printed them out, all of your names are in this jar. I'm going to actually put them in this box. Oh, I completely missed. I completely missed, oh my god. I dumped them all over the floor. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's a good thing there's not too many of them. <laughs> put them all in this, uh, oh. All right, they're all in there now. Okay, so the winner of the vintage Canon FD 50mm 1.8 and Photodiox adapter is... <sighs> Drew Anderson. Congratulations, Drew. This lens, I, I'm sure, is going to be put to excellent use. Thank you all so much for playing. That was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. This was the most fun I've had in a long time on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I learned that having one, two, three cameras is a lot more challenging than just having the one, maybe the second camera. Three cameras is a bit overkill, I get it, but I thought it would be a good way to cover this lens draw as well as introduce this whole multi-camera editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, as for me, I'm going to strike this set. I'm gonna go shoot some hoops with my daughter because it is fantastic outside. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations, Drew, and we'll see you guys next time. I think that's the one. It is hot in here. I'm not complaining. Not complaining, not complaining.